Greetings folks, Nathan here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put together the cookie wheel camera case. Now one of the first things you want to do is sort out to make sure you have all your pieces. And then you'll notice that several of the acrylic pieces have a protective paper covering. And you'll want to peel that back. One of the easier ways I find is to kind of pick at it from one of the corners where the screw holes are. But if it's giving you some extra trouble, you can also soak the pieces in warm water to help loosen the paper up and then peel it from there. Now that we have the acrylic all ready to go, it's time to build the camera chip holder. For this, you'll want the five parts of the camera chip holder, as well as four half-inch screws and the six C4440 nuts. You'll want to start by taking the back plate and pressing four of the C4 nuts into the four corners. Next, you want to take the beetle bracket and carefully press that into the C4 nuts as well. Then take the remaining C4 nuts and place those into the arms of the chip holder. Next, you want to take the camera and lay it into the beetle plate. Then take big and little U plates and just set those on top where the holes are. Next you'll want to layer on the adapter plate and the face plate. And finally you'll want to screw in the four half inch screws. With the chip holder all complete, it's time to move on to the base of the camera holder. Before building the base of the cookie wheel camera, it's recommended that you run a toothpick or a small utility knife underneath where one of the grooves is on the cookie wheel co clicker plate. Sometimes a small piece of acrylic scrap will be left after the cutting process, and this will prevent the cookie wheel clicker from actually working as it's intended. To begin building the base, take the four 3 8 inch screws and insert them into the rubber feet. Next, taking the single holes of the base plate, as reference for your top and bottom, insert the rubber feet into the top and bottom holes. Next, take one of the black lamp post plates and line the holes up with the screws as well. Here you have the option of either using a hex nut or a one and a half inch screw as a mounting hardware for your, your case. The one and a half inch screw is used for mounting to acrylic rods or wood rods. This is just an example of how you would continue if you were to use the one and a half inch screw. But for the rest of the instruction video, we're gonna go with the hex nut. Taking your C4440 nuts, and your, op your option of mounting hardware, go ahead and use the top plate with the slits in it, and then go ahead and screw down the plates together. Next, we're going to take a clicker plate and a C4440 nut, and line that up into the slot on the base. And then we're going to tighten that with a 3 8 inch screw and rubber foot. Next, we're going to take the, camera chi the chip camera holder and then the small cookie wheel. And we're going to line the small cookie wheel up with the pegs on the chip holder. And then we top off with the big cookie wheel and tighten it down with the quarter inch screw. Now 
and then we'll be repeating that with the other side as well. And once those are all, all into position, you're ready to go. Hopefully this was helpful in putting together your cookie wheel camera case. If you're interested in seeing more products that's similar to this one, feel free to visit us at c4labs.com. And if you have any other questions or concerns, please reach out to us at help at c4labs.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.